Huh. Welcome back, everybody. This is Hutch from Hutch High Perf. And yes, <laughs> these are Cook's headers. Uh, excited to talk about these. Um, I need to put these onto the long block so I can figure out the placement for the dipstick tube. Seems like a lot of work, but I'd, who wants to put the thing in, then the headers won't fit, right? So anyway, let me get the... Uh, let me get the lawn block out and uh, we'll go ahead and mount these on and I'll tell you a little bit about them. All right, they're not stainless, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> These are uh, made by Cook's Headers. This was back, oh, I couldn't tell you how long ago now, uh, but it was on the, one of the forums I'm on. When I tell you about forums, you gotta, you gotta be on a forum. It's, it's all kinds of stuff you just uh, you run across. It's so great. So uh, on the forum, they were doing uh, um, a group buy, and it was a dude that worked for Cook's Headers, and he had a G body with, I think he had a G body with the big block olds with it in it. And he wanted a set of big block olds in a G body uh, set of headers. So he wanted to make them and I guess to supplement the cost or at least to, I don't know, uh, help out the community. Um, we did a group buy. It's like 550 bucks. And, uh, they're fantastic. Anyway, um, let me get these uh, out of the way and get the engine out. And let's um, test fit them on there. Even comes with header bolts. Let's get this center one kind of up in place here. In there, you. So as I was saying, this was a group buy, so I don't know if that means we got a decent price. 550 seems steep to me, and so I started looking at their their header sets they had online, and I'm like, oh well, maybe, maybe that was an okay price, because <laughs> uh, Cook's headers are not cheap. They are not, but. They are, I can't even get my, can't even get my chubby fingers in there. There we go. They are very nice. That's good enough for government work. All right. So the headers are, two inch primaries leading down to a three and a half inch collector. Now, that may be just a touch on the big side, but it is 468 cubic inches and there is, with these heads, a potential of making 520 horsepower and probably somewhere close to 600 foot pounds of torque. So, maybe they're not so, so big after all. I don't know, but they're what I got. So now what I have to do is figure out the best placement for my dipstick tube. So let me swivel this thing around so you can see. All right, here is what we're talking about. Right down in there. That is dipstick hole. It's that bad boy. It's right down in there. And well, I think that's going to be it right there. 
All right, so let me show you how we get that thing in. So the dipstick, you can see these different bulges right here. Those are to basically pinch against the hole and it holds it in place. So what I do is I get a little black RTV and I get it smeared on that. I'm going to smooth that out a little bit and then that will be in between the crevices for those two. So when I drive it in, that will just give it a little extra something to help seal it. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how well uh, this dipstick is going to read anymore. And actually, see if I can get this up here. I had to, I had to lop off the very end <laughs> of the dipstick. Just, you know, like I said, these, these are the aftermarket things you have to deal with, right? Because I had to bend the, I had to bend the tube a little bit to be able to clear the the windage tray, which put it off from where it's supposed to be in the pan. It's it's a thing, you know. It may not read accurate, but it looks good, and it's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I sealed up that hole down there, so anyway, I'm gonna. Let me swing this around because I think I'm going to get the uh, oil filter housing on. All right, got my stainless bolts with my anti-seize on them. Let's get this one started. These all go down to 35 foot-pounds. So if you're an old guy, you know the 51-258 Wix filter. It's the standard, it's the go-to, it's what we all use, or the Napa Gold or Platinum, because I think Wix makes those as well. But do you know the 51-522 XP? So Wix makes a race filter, they make the XP, and then they make your regular everyday Wix filter. So the regular everyday Wix filter, I think it filters like 20 microns, and then the race filter filters less than that. It's like 35 or something. This is in the middle. So it doesn't filter as, as much as the standard filter, and it uh, filters a little bit more than the race one. The race one, it doesn't filter as much because they're looking for the maximum amount of oil flow that you can get. But for everyday street driving, you want the engine filter on your car. You want that oil filter to filter as much junk as it can, right? So I'm going to start this thing up and I'm going to break it in um, using a break-in oil. And what this does is it helps not filter out as much of the additives that go into that oil to help break in the engine. So you, if you went on to the Wix website and looked at Olds 455, you would not find that this filter fits. But if you go and look at the Olds 307, like uh, 87, which is what this car is, you can find this filter number. This housing and the housing for the 307 Olds that I have, I 
I held them up side by side and um, they were exactly the same. The fitting on the bottom the same, thread the same, the same amount of perch area for the filter, it's all the same. So when I break this engine in, I'm using the XP as my filter. And then once the engine is broke in, the favorite, what everyone uses. Man, does this thing ever look mean with those headers on. I really like that. I'm getting really excited about getting this thing back in the car. So uh, I think that is it for now, just because uh, there's a bunch of stuff I got to wait on. I can't put the water pump on because I want to get the front brackets for the serpentine belt system cleaned up to figure out what I need to do as far as bolting that with the water pump. So I'm going to hold off on that. Can't put the intake on because it's actually out at the machine shop. Uh, have I talked to you about this before or not? So I had the I had the the deck of the block cut down to increase the compression ratio or to get a specific ratio that I wanted with the pistons I'm using. So by doing that, it takes the entire head and it moves it down a little bit. So what happens is the, the two surfaces in here where the intake manifold mount on, those move closer down to each other, which means now the intake manifold is actually too fat to fit on top properly. One side of the bolts line up and the other side does not, just barely, but, so he's gonna have to cut that. Actually, I, he, what he told me to do, he's like, he said, put the intake manifold on with no intake gaskets and see if you can get all the bolts lined up and see if everything is good. And he said, and then do it with the gaskets on and, and see if you get the same thing. So with no gasket, I put it on. I'm like, oh, everything lined up, it's fine. I put the gaskets on, which are 60,000s, and uh, the one side, I just could not get it to line up exactly right. So he was like, well, that's easy. We're mill at 60,000s and it should be right on the money. So waiting on that should be next week. And uh, I got to get it off the stand and put the flex plate on so I can check the, the position of the starter, make sure the gear is, uh, just check that, make sure, you know, how much I got to shim it, how much that has to uh, be worked. So little things now, but all the big stuff for the most part is done. So yeah, I'm getting, uh, getting really jazzed about getting this thing into the car. One last walk around before I wrap everything up and I have to take these big fat headers back off. Ah, oh, I'm loving the way this thing is looking. Anyway, I think that is it for now. All right, well, that's it for this one. And as always, if you like what you saw, tell somebody. <laughs> I could use a little bit more viewership. That would be nice. Uh, you know, do all the things, like, subscribe, share. There's a, there's a thing down there somewhere for the super thanks, whatever it is. You know what to do. Go to the t-shirt shop. If you find something you like, money goes right back into the project. So 455, she is coming along. It's going to be going in the car really soon. Very soon. <laughs> so look forward to that. That's going to be, uh, right around the corner. I want to get that in. And then, um, so much to do. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I appreciate your time. Appreciate you coming back. Hope you guys have a good one. This is Hutch from Hutch High Perf. Take it easy.